Sunmori just released a new product called the LED floor lamp. Now I've seen a ton of these types of lamps on Amazon, but this one stood out for a couple reasons. First was the low price, and second was that it's actually using an LED strip instead of the usual two RGB light bulbs I've seen in other products. So the packaging is pretty simple with no thrills. There's an outside sleeve that needs to be removed before getting to the box. After opening things up, you'll find the getting started guide on top. Next is the package for the LED strip, the lamp, remote, the diamond for the top, 12 volt power supply, batteries for the remote, a weight to help keep the lamp upright, and the metal posts. Now I was most curious as to what type of LED strips they're going to use. They look very well built and appear to be in some type of heavy duty casing. They have separate LEDs for the white colors which is an added bonus if the RGB look is not your style. Everything looks solid so let's start the assembly. So there's going to be two posts with black caps at the end. The one on the right has a skinnier section at the bottom and the one on the left does not. The left is going to be your bottom piece and the right is going to be your top. From there it doesn't matter how you assemble the rest. Now that the pole is put together you can just snap on the LED strip and make it as centered as you can. There are a total of three clips that should be fastened. As far as the lamp, there's about a 3 inch tall circular tube attached to the bottom of the structure that you're going to flip up and put the black weight over. Now all that's left to do is put the metal rod into the tube and start lifting the top part of the frame upwards. Once everything's positioned in the center, you can screw in the diamond which will keep everything in its place. Finally, you can flip it over and straighten out the legs. Before testing things out, let's quickly set up the app. Make sure at this point your lamp is plugged in. Open up your app store and search for LED lamp. I'll be installing the one on top for my search results. Open up the app and go through all the generic prompts until you get to the main screen. Next, you're going to pull down on the screen to refresh and it should now let you select LED DMX. You should now be connected to the lamp. I won't spend too much time going over the app, but overall I was impressed with the number of options that were available. While it's not as polished as the Govi app for example, it was still very responsive and packed full of features. In the mode tab, you can choose between over 200 animations, all of which you can control the brightness and the speed. And at the top you can save three of your favorite animations for quick access. Now moving on to the custom section, and this was probably my favorite part. Here I'm able to select my colors and then choose what type of movement as well as the direction of the light that I want. And finally they do have a music mode. You can either play music stored on your phone or you can hit the record button and the lamp will react to sound that is picked up from your phone's microphone. You can also choose what colors you want, which is a huge plus as I'm not a big fan of just random colors exploding all over the place that a lot of music modes have. The last thing to quickly cover is the physical controller that the lamp came with. Here's the diagram of what all the buttons do. One of the things that I liked most about it was the pause button. If I liked what color animation was being displayed at any given time, I simply hit that button and it froze the color scheme right where it was at. And if all you plan on using the lamp for was your basic white lighting, it was very nice to have full control over the warm, cool, and cold whites as well as the brightness. So that about does it for the unboxing and review. Overall, this lamp checked all the boxes and for the price point it's offered at, you can't go wrong if you like this style of RGB lighting. Please let me know if you have any questions at all and I hope you have a blessed day.